Hi, I'm James from Spy Camera CCTV, and today we're going to be talking you through the setup and download an installation of two pieces of software for your USB capture device. Inside the box that comes with your USB device, you will find a link that will take you to our help site guide on our website. Now, the two pieces of software that you will download, one will be the drivers for the USB device itself, and the second piece of software that you'll download will be the third-party software called iSpy, which will basically turn your computer in a nice, into a nice and powerful recorder. Now, we're gonna quickly run through the setup and plugging in your camera into the device. So, for connecting up your cables to the USB capture device, First, you want to connect the yellow cable to the yellow sockets on here, which will be for the video. And the secondary cable you want to plug in will be the white one for the audio for your camera. Now, you want to plug the USB end of the cable into the computer, so it'd be nice and simple, just into the computer here. And once that is done, on the other end of your cable, you will want to have that plugged into your camera. As you can see, we've got a nice little bird box camera here, and that's plugged into its power connection already. The other end, You'll just want to plug in the video and the audio connections here, like so. And once that's done, you want to head onto your computer and the link will take you to this help site guide that we've got up right now. Um, first things first, if you want to scroll down slightly, the first link here will be for the download link for the drivers for the USB device. So once you click that, um, you will then get the download for those. So once you click that, it should start downloading, depending on how fast your internet speed is, it shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds though. Once that's downloaded, you want to click that, you want to open this up really quick, double click again on the setup, and that should start installing the drivers for you for your device. Once again, this shouldn't take much more than a couple of minutes to do, depending on how fast your computer is. All you need to do is click next. Once that starts installing and getting that configured onto your computer, you can click finish at the end. Once that's installed on your computer, that's all you need to do. The second link here, which you can see under, under the uh, subheading of downloading and installing iSpy, you click that, that should take you now to the iSpy website. All you need to do is click download here. It'll ask you which kind of version you want to download. Uh, most, most computers will use the 64-bit version unless you know you have the 32-bit. 64-bit is probably the one you want to go for. and downloaded once again, should bring up your setup option here. All you want to do is double click that. That will now start installing the software for you. So what we want to do, click this little box here that says I do agree to the license terms and conditions and click install. Click yes, because you want to allow this to install onto your computer. Now, once that's installed, you should have the iSpy desktop app on your, on your computer. All you want to do is click that, load that one up. So once that's loaded up, it will give you the, uh, the getting started installation. So you just want to obviously make sure that the, your language that you're using is the language that's relevant to you. In this case, it will be English. Right, so once we're on here, all we want to do is in the top left hand corner you'll see the button that says add we want to click add and we want to go onto local camera and on the window that will pop up you will want to make sure that the video device that you've got plugged into your computer is either the usb 2.0 vidbox fw sometimes the numbers will be slightly different depending on the software variants that are available to them and underneath we want to make sure that the video input here says video composite and that will make sure that you are getting a picture from the camera that you've got plugged in. The third part here that you want to do is make sure that the video resolution is set to 640 by 480 which is here, this one here. And then you want to click OK. And then the second window that pops up here will give you your maximum frame rates and what you want to do is just change this to 25 and 25 and then once that's done you can click finish and there you have it there you've got the image of your camera that you've got currently plugged in 
to your USB video capture device. If you've got sound on your camera, then there's one extra thing that you'll need to do, which is you want to go into the edit settings right here, um, and then where it says microphone, you'll want to click those three little dots, you want to click on new, these two little arrows here, which will then take you to the next page. And then on here, you want to make sure that you've got your USB audio device here, um, just to make sure that that is all enabled for you. And then you can click finish once more. And there you have it. That's how you set up your camera to record onto your computer. Now, what we'll quickly do now is just run into the settings for actually setting it. The, the few different ways of setting up your camera to record on the computer. So the first of all, it's nice and simple. There's a little, there's a little uh, white dot here that says record now when you move your mouse over it. All you need to do, if you click that little, that little dot there, in the bottom right hand corner, you should see where it says, where it, there's a little, little red dot. Again, that's your recording light. It also says that in the top right corner as well of the camera screen. Now, if we want to stop recording, simply hit that again and that will stop recording for you. And then in the bottom left hand corner, that will show you what your current videos that have just been recorded in there. All you need to do is click them and that will start playing it back for you. Now, if you want to set it up for motion detection, it's nice and simple. All you do here is make sure that you've got your trigger range on here. So the higher the number here, the more sensitive your camera is and the software will then start recording whenever, whenever motion detection has been set up. So as long as, you, as long as you select that, that should be fine. If we're setting up a schedule, then it's very simple once again, and we want to go on to scheduling, and then on here, you wanna select your camera, and you go add, and this is when you want it to start recording. So, for instance, if we want it to start recording uh, from five o'clock in the morning, what we'll do is set it as 0500. And if you want that to record every day, then you can select the days that you want it to record here. That's when you want recording start. And whenever you want it to stop recording, all you need to do is click add. Again, put in the time that you want to stop, want it to stop recording. So if you wanted it recording from five till five in the afternoon, then all you'd need to do, again, put in the time. And once again, select the days that you want this happening. And select, select recording, stop. And that will then now record from five o'clock in the morning till five o'clock in the afternoon and nothing more or before that. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call or visit our website, spycameraccctv.com. You can find all of these details in the description down below. Thank you.